All right, 1114 students. We're going to take a look at uh, battery load testing. For this test, we're not going to use the actual carbon pile, but we're going to use this conductive tester. I've heard it uh, referred to as a capacitance type test, but uh, officially it's called the conductance tester. It's made by Medtronics. It seems to be uh, the tester of choice by many manufacturers. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now, before I start, let's get two alligator clips. We're going to go ahead and put those red on the positive, black on the negative. Now, let's see if we can view that. What I want you to see there is that we've got two sets of jaws. We need to make sure that both of these have a good purchase, good electrical connection with the terminals, okay? All right, so black on the positive, or sorry, negative, red on positive. Again, attempting to get a good electrical connection. Now, this tool is pretty intuitive, kind of nice. It'll actually walk you through the procedure. Uh, we've got up and down buttons. We get the enter button, information button, and a print button. Actually, it's a menu, but we can get to the print from there. So I'm just going to zoom in on this part. All right, there's the volt. You can say press enter to continue. I'll go ahead and press that enter button. All right, this is in the vehicle. We are at the battery post, not the jump post. It is not a side post, it is a top post. This is a regular battery. It is not an AGM or absorbed glass mat. Let's move down, see if it gives us one other option. Nope, some may give you a gel cell, but we're gonna do regular lead acid battery. Now, it's giving us one of the methods to, to input here, this is called cranking amps. We can have some others, Japanese stuff, German stuff. I have no idea what that stuff is, but we're gonna stick with the cold cranking amp. So I'm gonna hit enter. This battery, it's a cute little battery. I, I think it's smaller than the one I've got on my Harley. Uh, this thing, cold cranking amps is only 340. Now, be sure that you use cold cranking amps and not cranking amps. Some batteries will give you both. Uh, cranking amps are going to show significantly more, um, and if you enter that in there, well, you may end up failing batteries. So, all right, so 340 up or down arrows to get there. There we go. All right, enter button. It's doing its thing. All right. Wait till it decides where it wants to be. We're not going to do the starter test. So it's saying we're not at 100%, but if we take a look there, it says it's good battery, wants us to recharge it. So we can recharge it, test it. If I look at this, it's saying we get a little under 50% charge. Um, but there we go. It's a good battery, recharge. You can see that the measured was 370 cold cranking amp rather than the 340. So uh, this battery is okay. We just need to charge it, give it back to the customer.